Hello everybody. This session is all about number bonds. What are number bonds? Well, number bonds are the pairs of numbers that make up another number. Now, these are the things that we are going to need today for this session. Three plates or saucers, either some counters or pebbles or buttons. I'm using buttons today. Some Lego cubes, and I'm using the Lego cubes, which have just got one bobble on the top. And then a pencil and paper. Or, if you're lucky enough to have a whiteboard and a pen at home, you can use that instead. So, first of all, I have got my three saucers. And I'm going to put my five buttons on my first saucer. And now I'm going to think of the different ways that I can break my five buttons into two groups. So first of all, I'm going to put two buttons on this saucer and the other three buttons on this saucer. So I have split my five buttons into a group of two and a group of three. Two and three makes five. So now I put my five buttons back on the first saucer and I'm going to investigate if I can use any different ways to break my five buttons into two groups. So this time I'm just going to put one button on this saucer and the other four buttons on this saucer. So I've got a group of one and a group of four. One and four makes five. Now why don't you pause the video and have a go for yourself to find the different ways that you can break five into two groups to find the number bonds that make five. Welcome back. Now I'm going to investigate number bonds using my Lego bricks. So I've got my five Lego bricks here and I'm going to see if I can split them into two groups. So here I have split my Lego into a group of three and a group of two. Three and two makes five. Now I've put them back together again and this time I'm going to break my Lego into a group of one and a group of four. One and four makes five. So why don't you use your Lego now to investigate different ways of making number bonds to five? Welcome back. Now we've had a good investigation using our buttons and using the Lego. I'm now going to have a go at showing this using numbers. So, first of all, I had my five counters. And... I split them up into a group of two and a group of three. Two and three makes five. Two and three are number bonds for five. Now, I did do that another way as well, and I split my five into a group of one and a group of four. One and four makes five. One and four are number bonds for five. Now, I wonder if there's another way of doing this. If I put all five counters there, how many would I need on the other saucer? Well, I haven't got any left, so that would be zero. So five and zero make five. Five and zero are number bonds for five as well. And this picture is called a part, part, whole. We've got a part on this side, a part on the other side, and the whole is five. Now, why don't you pause the video, use your pen and paper or your whiteboard to have a go at drawing your own part-part-whole diagrams to show number bonds. So, that's number bonds. Number bonds are pairs of numbers that can be put together to make a given number. Now, once you've investigated your number bonds, it's good to practice, 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 so you know them forwards, backwards and inside out. Bye-bye.